everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Ten rounds of heavyweights. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. Cross making his way to the ring right now, and you can just see in his eyes what his intentions are tonight. Mike Tyson's big. Well, they're scheduled to spend a half an hour swapping leather. Oh, this I'm is so ten distracted round. Distracted by his pink outfit. Oh, it must be. It must be. Teddy, in terms oh, of a power punch, totally we know the taller working. fighter's going to try to utilize the jab, oh, but in terms of a power punch, what can he get that shorter fighter with? The uppercut. Boy, oh boy, that can be like putting a cherry on top of an ice cream sundae. Because you know the shorter guy's leaning, he's coming in, he doesn't see that punch, so it's too late. Gets rid of that body shot. Tyson's got to do something. This is ridiculous. He's not doing anything. What he's doing, I think, is hoping the referee's going to come in and do something for him. Get him out of there. That might be what's going on. Good combination punching by Isaac Frost there. The big man can put his punches together. Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. Isaac Frost is able to land a good, solid left hand. He got hit, but he sends it right back. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Committing now to the left hand. Good straight shot. with a big uppercut. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Well, I won this round. We count down the final no, moments of this round. Oh, I don't want to tire myself out too much because that's what he's planning on. Oh. We got it. Right. Here we go. Round two is underway. Southpaw right jab and the left hand. Good way to protect the midsection. Frost left, working well that time. Double jab by Mike Tyson. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch and then when he stops steps back makes a miss and comes right back tyson's so dangerous with that accuracy a two punch combination landing sending out the power shot it was a straight left hand you see he's committed to that body work Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Good combination by Isaac Frost right there. The jab and then the straight hand. Final ten seconds of round number two.
Mike Tyson's really working well. That last round, he was accurate. Look at the punch numbers. And round number three is underway. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Great work by Isaac Frost. Too many of those punches by Isaac Frost, and this night's gonna be over. Wow, nice flush left hand. That's a serious power punch he just landed to the head. He doesn't look good. That uppercut, absolutely big shot there. That combination puts him down. So the intimidating Isaac Frost. Can he still be the big bully after being knocked down? We're going to find out as this fight will continue on. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Really on the mark with that overhand left. Teddy, there have been those who have gone the distance with a prime Mike Tyson, but they never really gave you the sense that they were capable of winning and doing so. Because they did not have that belief, that sense themselves. They got to a point where they were a co-conspirator to their own demise, that they were cooperating with the wrong guy, with the enemy. They were not looking to win. They were hoping to either survive or get the hell out of there. They used to make silent agreements on the inside. When they had opportunities to work, they didn't work. They put their hands behind Tyson and they hoped that he would hold on and they would get a free ride. That if they didn't hurt him, he wouldn't try to hurt them. Well, I think this is a fairly even fight, Teddy. If you look at your scorecard, that's the way you have it as we begin round number four. Well, it's been a battle of jabs, to be honest with you, Joe. And until one guy shows that his jab is bilingual, it's going to stay close. And what I mean by that, if one guy shows that his jab can do more than speak for singers, maybe a little Spanish, you know, maybe a little bit of this language where he hooks off and he does more things, that guy is going to separate himself. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here today? Well, two aspirin and then go... Oh, no, actually, I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Ross doing well here with that two-punch combination. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Straight right hand. Nice work with a double jab to the midsection. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. Mike Tyson with a big score there. The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's gonna be a decision win for somebody looks like somebody's gonna get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, 
foregoing the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all. Cross showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Zoning in with the overhand left. Mike Tyson's punch didn't come close. Isaac Frost's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Solid shot, the overhand left. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Tyson's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Halfway into round number five here. Little setup punch. One, two, two jabs to the body. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Nice block by Mike Tyson. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Isaac Frost coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. Isaac Frost's corner knows that their fighter still has much more to do. You cannot just sit back and be content on the stool, securing a lead. You have to go out and earn a win. the start of this round, the halfway point of this fight. Good job on the two-punch combo by Mike Tyson. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Isaac Frost done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Well, he's got the attitude, something's got to stick. He fires off the combination and they both do. This is just beautiful to watch. Watch how he just links one to the next, Teddy. A beautiful sequence, almost like musical notes being played. Well, exactly. It's a nice tune because it just follows. One, as you said, follows the other. Nice and smooth. A huge right hand from Mike Tyson. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Good flush shot upstairs. Frost putting forth a great combination there. Off target with that hook. Frost is being smart on the outside. Another thudding shot by Isaac Frost, this time the left hand. Scored well up top. He just missed that shot up top. Accurate with a straight left. Left to the body. Good left hand by Frost. He scored well after being hit himself. Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. To the head he goes with a left hand. Mike Tyson digs deep with a big uppercut. Mike Tyson's able to avoid that punch. 
Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Mike Tyson. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Tyson's not having things go his way tonight, but there's one easy explanation for it. He's barely moving. He's just stationary there. And his opponent's taking great advantage of that. He's coming in, he's finding him, he's giving him angles. You know, I think part of it is frustration. He's not moving because he's being kept off balance, and right now he's just not thinking right. Well, he's sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Watch the low and blow. now he's been spoken to about the low blows. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Doubles up the jab to the head. That's a momentum. Time. Ross is going to get a point I deduction you here about for your that head. clash That's of heads. The referee point. now feels that it's purposeful what he's doing, and he's deducting a point. He has seen Time. enough with that Billy I Goat with that your head. head. They're going to take a point, point away here. That is Stop. a... Stop. It's Stop. over. The fight done, is over. Excessive fouls. DQ done. And when you see that, sometimes it tells me that the fighter wanted to get out. And that was his way oh, of getting out. Your winner, Mike Tyson's your winner, and he gets the victory by disqualification. It brings you back in history when Max Schmeling won the heavyweight title the same way. It was a good one.